look at the pension funds, and you're talking about a lack of confidence in government, I thought for years, once the pensions stop paying, is when you're really going to get that, that thrust in lack of confidence. And we've seen all the signs, but I mean, you've got Dallas police and fire now are in, yeah. you know, in trouble. The Teamsters in New York are bankrupt. Detroit, uh, Stockton, Atlantic City, Puerto Rico, uh, Chicago, one of my favorites, oh, because yeah. it's $20 billion unfunded liability. Uh, you know, the only, I mean, I guess we, you'd probably know with your model, I don't know, but I'd flip a coin between Illinois and Kentucky, where the teachers are mad right now. But and the, you have CalPERS in California. CalPERS, of course, yeah. Well, they, in um, Stockton, they, uh, two counties in California have cut their pensioners by 90%, you know, in the payout. And uh, how's, so let's talk about that just for a moment in terms of the impact on the confidence cycle. And, um, and then the investment. This is basically contributing a lot of it to, because... That manifests basically then in governments trying to raise taxes to, to cover them. And in Germany, you now have the municipal saying, okay, fine, the election's over, it's time to you know, chip in more over here because we need it. Uh, so this is, is the trend. That's why I was saying well, we have to understand what the big trend is. This is it. There's no way of reversing this. Yeah. Okay. Now, <clears throat> some of the private pension funds and get it, and there are uh, quite a few here, actually, um, <clears throat> that, so they understand. But when you're talking about, um, you take CalPERS, for example, what has come out has shown that, okay, well, <clears throat> you had the board saying, well, we have to be uh, you know, environmentally uh, <clears throat> sensitive, and then they were directing that investments being green things and stuff like that. And once you start getting these yes. political things in, then they're losing money left and right. Now you have government bonds and they're losing money on the yield. Yes. And then they go, okay, fine, we're, we're broke, we need more money. Oh, okay, you know. They're one of the ones in Washington, and I don't think Trump will, will um, go for this, which uh, hopefully <clears throat> but they have been lobbying with, um, uh, I think Texas was also involved, and New York. They've been lobbying that their solution is that <clears throat> they should seize all the private 401ks <clears throat> and give it, all, and all the private pension funds, and give it to them to manage for the whole state. So any private pension funds in California, they want CalPERS to manage because they've done such a fantastic job with what they already have. Well, what you I know. find so naive is that people don't understand that this is already happening. I mean, look at Poland, where they basically took over their IRAs and KIOs there. When I look at Spain, where they forced them to buy 95% of Spanish bonds. Yeah. You know, that's what inside their, depending on where you are, social, you know, equivalent of social security, equivalent of the Canada pension plan. It, you know, great. Wouldn't, isn't that a delight when you're in Spain? You know, they'll do anything to protect that system. Yeah, and, and, and that's why I keep, you know, warning people is that our government is our biggest problem. Um, but let me give you an example, because like, a lot of people ask about real estate, and there's a sort of a challenge. You can have different variables. This is a huge variable for real estate. And uh, Marty's the only guy I've heard talk about this. Is, think about this. So in Chicago, I think the rise in... Uh, Property taxes were 33%. They just said they want another 20%. Well, really, how many people want to move in there? I know the, uh, the, go the governor of uh, one of the neighboring states thanked Wisconsin for his uh, economic growth because everybody, uh, no, sorry, it was Wisconsin, thanked Illinois because everybody's coming out of Illinois. Yeah. This is what the pension's going to do. It's going to drive capital, but real estate is going to be in trouble when they have to.